to be a servant is our constitutional position. The more we serve the ideals of our existence, the sweet will of the infinite, the hard work for the benefit of all, the closer we are deserving to get to understand what is really our best destination. Because the destination is a very important thing. But the first destination we have to get is a good consciousness. And that good consciousness means exactly that. It means that I am not this body. I am not the controller. I want to do something wonderful with my life. I need illumination for that. I need to meditate. Oh my Lord, infinite and beloved creator of all beings, knower of all and friend of all, I am approaching you today. I am asking you, please, make this soul an instrument of your love. Don't let me get lost in this material world. All I want is your grace. And I want to be engaged actively, usefully, as you feel that I should be engaged. That is my only hope. We need to accept that we ourselves are not units who are self-sufficient. Even though we are part of the whole, we are part of the totality of creation, we in ourselves are not units who can be completely self-satisfied without any additional participation or involvement. We are parts meant to serve the whole. We are parts which need the association of others. That's why we are so attached to our horses, our dogs, our wives, our children, our countrymen, our ideals. We are always engaged, always searching for connecting to something or someone else to try to make our existence fulfilled. But all these attempts fail because we choose the wrong connection. When I accept that I am supposed to serve and I accept that I can't do it by myself so I'm looking eagerly forward to find somebody in this world to help me, to connect me with the higher realm and that's the search for the teacher it's always been there and always will be there so I was very lucky in my life I met my, my teacher Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada he was not the only teacher in my life, but he was the most outstanding one because he really lived and walked upon this earth like a true saint, giving love and hope to all and freeing us from our conditional existence, above all freeing us from the contaminated approach towards cleanliness, austerity, honesty and compassion. So we need to find good association, that's also very important. The good association is the key to enthusiasm. And I guess it's the biggest test in this world because association means the acceptance of others, living together with them, sharing with them, and learning from them and teaching them as well. So this exchange requires a great deal of humility and that's very difficult to come about. This humility is only possible to achieve when you, from the depths of your heart, you invoke the holy mantras of the names, the sacred names. And the best of those mantras is the Maha Mantra, which has been announced to be the mantra for deliverance for this age in this uh, wonderful verse where it says that there is really no other alternative to the highest spiritual consciousness to be obtained in this world, save and accept, save and accept when you chant the holy name of the Lord. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare.